What's up guys? James from Project Steel Beating here. Welcome to another fun filled season of Project Steel Beating. Today we're going to do a recap on our uh, FIG adventure race. It was a 12 hour adventure race in the Natural Bridge State Park and surrounding areas and it was a really great race. Uh, it was the season finale for the Unbridled series so it was the final and you know we're very excited to have done the Unbridled series this year and uh, we'll probably do a whole recap of the whole series but for now we're just going to recap the fig and let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, to start off we, we got bust to our start location um, from uh, the finish so we got bus there and it was an extremely long bus ride and you know we're not even going to be taking the roads we're going to be going through the mountains so right off the bat we knew it wasn't going to be easy uh, we started in this little park in Beattyville Kentucky and uh, our first checkpoint they had given us uh, a couple of postcards in our bag the night before when we checked in and our first checkpoint was actually at the Beattyville post office and we were able to drop those postcards and send them out to a friend you know to get them adventure interested in adventure racing and uh, that was where our first checkpoint was and from there we proceeded to uh, run to the uh, boat docks and we started our paddling part of the, of the race uh, as normal I always have some sort of problem with the paddling and this year this race was no exception uh, my paddle wouldn't actually go all the way together. I don't know if it got really cold the night before and maybe it froze up and got something on it. I don't know, but I could not get it together. So about every 30 or 40 paddles, I was having to stop, turn, 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 get the paddle back in together, uh, you know, to keep it together. So it was not the greatest paddle for me, for sure. So, uh, we wasted a little bit of time doing that and we decided that uh, we was going to skip a few of the paddling checkpoints and get on to the uh, next running part of the race. So we got out of the water section and uh, we began a urban O course. So basically we were in a, a little town and we got to run around and we got a sheet and we had to answer five questions in this town and uh, we had to take it to our next transition area and if we got those questions right we did get it we got a checkpoint for it and it was really neat because uh, we got to go inside a little uh, coffee shop and uh, you know got to go inside a little museum type place and a lot of historical stuff so then we continued on to our next transition area which is where we picked up the bikes and uh, from there, we had a long bike ahead of us. Um, started the biking section and uh, did a lot of miles on the bike, that is for sure. Um, which the bike is my favorite part, you know. So we got, a, we got going on the biking section. Um, we took a course that not a lot of racers took, if any. Um, but it ended up panning out okay for us. We, did, we got, went through a uh, really rocky trail and uh, a lot of creek crossings, but uh, we came out good with that. So uh, then we continued and got some more checkpoints. You know, all, all this time we're getting checkpoints, of course. And uh, we continue on. Then we get to uh, the next transition area where we drop the bikes and we go on the next trekking section and uh, this was the brutal section. We actually uh, went down and had to climb back up a hill that was probably steeper than anything I've ever climbed in my life other than rock climbing itself. I swear that it was like this steep, you know, it was crazy. And uh, that, it was an absolutely brutal section. Uh, then we finished up with that section, uh, got back on the bikes and headed to our next transition area um, was a good ride. Not 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 too far of a ride for there. Um, not like to get to this this one we just came to, but uh, we got to the next transition area, and from there, you had another running section where you ran out and got some uh, different checkpoints, uh, and uh, 
then you came back to the bikes and from there you bike to the finish um this was a very challenging course let me tell you uh, this was a 12-hour race and uh it was honestly harder to me than the 15-hour race i had done earlier in the year so i mean it was a very brutal course so hats off to uh 361 adventures for setting a really hard course and challenging us very good uh, they had a lot of very interesting checkpoints uh they actually had one that was like a little palm tree and it actually had beer in it for you if you wanted a beer so i mean that was great uh, but a lot of interesting checkpoints in this one for sure and like i said the fig lived up to its name it was very challenging and uh it did finish off my adventure racing season so I look forward to next season for sure, but uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of work to do before next season. Um, Got to figure out what I'm going to do uh, next season. I'm kind of wanting to do the 18-hour series, um, possibly even go to a 48-hour race. I don't I don't know about that one yet, but it's all up in the air. But the Fig was a good race. Hats off to 361 Adventures for it. It was awesome. I had a great time, and it was the perfect way to end my first season in adventure racing. So I'm very happy with that. So overall, had a great time. Didn't get hurt. So, well, I got sore, if that counts as hurt. But other than that, everything went good. If you like this video from Project Still Beating, click up here in the corner and watch another one. And while you're at it, click down here in the corner, subscribe. Make sure and smash that like button down below and follow us on all social media sites. And as always, thanks for sharing my adventure with me.